Hey there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me on this splendid Sunday. In this episode of Review Flex, we're going to be talking about Daredevil Born Again and we have plenty of set images and videos coming out of Daredevil Born Again on the actual set that people have taken that show us Karen and Foggy, which is pretty incredible. So guys, if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going around on this channel. But with that down, we're going to be jumping into this article from comicbookmovie.com. So Daredevil Born Again, set videos, give us a much better look at Matt Murdock, Karen Page and Foggy Nelson. So the latest round of photos and videos from the set of Daredevil Born Again, give us a much better look at Matt Murdock alongside returning pals Karen Page and Foggy Nelson. Yeah guys, so the breakdown for this video, we're going to have a small read of this article, then we're going to hop over to Twitter, where as I say, we have plenty of videos and up close and personal sort of images that people have taken from the actual set where the uh, Daredevil show is being filmed so we can get a better look at these returning characters and maybe we can glean, you know, some of the scenes that may be going on within the series. So let's jump into this article and uh, have a quick read before we check out those uh, videos and images. So yesterday, some photos from the set of Daredevil Born Again confirmed recent reports that Eldon Henson and Deborah Ann Wool uh, will reprise their respective roles as Foggy Nelson and Karen Page from the Netflix series and we now have a much better look at the pair alongside the old pal Matt Murdock, Charlie Cox. Yeah, one of the things that people were kind of disappointed about when the news first came out that, you know, Foggy and Karen weren't going to be um, reprising their roles from the Netflix show over to the um, MCU Daredevil. Um, people were quite disappointed to hear that they weren't coming back, as I say. And um, now, you know, all of a sudden, it seems like, you know, Marvel have done a 180. They seem to be replicating the Netflix show as closely as they possibly can. They've gone back, retooled the actual Daredevil show. They, they shot a lot of the actual series and they had to go back to the drawing board. They didn't like what they saw. And they've brought back, you know, Karen and Foggy, which is great news. We have some of those images and videos, which I can't wait to take a look at with you guys. And uh, hopefully we can get to see them in all their glory. So... The video shows the reunited friends colleagues in good spirits as they leave their building to take a stroll. Karen looks pretty much the same as she did in the Netflix show, but Foggy is sporting some facial hair. Yeah, he looks a little bit different, which is kind of cool. It's always good to change up your appearance from time to time. So we've heard that both Wall and Wilson Bethel's Bullseye are also uh, set to appear in three episodes, which has led to speculation that the series will remain faithful to the Born Again comic when it comes to one particular plot point. So we also have a couple of great shots of Cox uh, as Murdoch, and confirmation that Moon Knight directors Justin Benson and Aaron Moorhead are helming at least one episode, the new pilot, presumably. Let's check out the photos and videos below. So, um, what we're going to do at this point, guys, um, we've just had a quick read of this article. We're going to hop over to Twitter now, where we get a much better look at some of the stuff that's going on within the Daredevil Born Again TV show. Um, some of the stuff may be regarded as spoilers, so I'm just putting that out there, guys, just to let you know. But um, I think a lot of the information is kind of out in the public sphere. So I don't consider it spoilers, but you may do. Just giving you a quick warning before we head over to Twitter and take a look at some of these pictures. So landing over here on Twitter or X, whichever you want to call it. If we just type in Daredevil Born Again, we get plenty of uh, set videos and images that we can look at. So if we have a look at this first one. So it looks like we have, let's go back to the beginning. So Daredevil filming in NYC. So we can see Foggy, we can see Karen, and we can see Matt Murdock all coming out of their kind of law practice. And um, it's so great to see these two characters back. And um, yeah, it's just great to have them. As I say, a lot of people were disappointed when they were, you know, when it was confirmed that they weren't returning. Um, and it looks like Marvel did a 180, which is great. They listened to the fans. They brought back, you know, the fan favorite characters. And um, I think the show is going to be all the more better for it. But it's great to see them back, as I say. So let's go down to the next one. So, this is the returning cast of Daredevil Born Again. Obviously, Charlie Cox, Vincent D'Onofrio, John Burnfall. Cannot wait to see The Punisher in this series. The Punisher is nuts. But um, I'm always worried that they're going to have to tone him down because he's now in a Marvel, you know, now, the, now that he's over in the MCU, are they going to tone him down? Because the Netflix version of Punisher was pretty brutal. So, I hope that Marvel don't tone him down too much. Obviously, we've got uh, Wilson Bethel as Bullseye, and then we've got Deborah Ann Wool as Karen Page, and Eldon uh, Henson as Foggy Nelson. So, uh, yeah, Wilson Bethel will return as Bullseye in Daredevil Born Again. That came out recently, for those of you who may not have heard, which is great news. Bullseye is an interesting character. I quite like him, and I'm glad that he's going to be popping up again. Only three episodes, though, so he's not going to be in too much of the show. Um, 
we've got another one where they're walking down the street, all three of them, which is pretty cool. Um, just kind of having a chat by the look of it. Doesn't seem to be much else going on. But again, it's that kind of tangi tangibilization of the characters appearing, which is great. I love this guy in the foreground. Is that... Is that a real guy here, or is that a dummy? <laughs> he looks like he's having a looks like he's having a nap on set. <laughs> he's the apprentice there, just having a nap. You know, <laughs> oh, I love that. But yeah, they're just walking down the street. Um, there's not really much else to go on apart from that. Um, but it's just cool to see them back. Um, Foggy does look a little bit different. Has some facial hair. Looks like he's lost a bit of weight, to be honest. Good for him, if so. But yeah, that's cool to see. Um, the party ended an hour ago, and he's still hit the whole Daredevil fandom since Friday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the amount of sort of news that's being covered on this Daredevil show is great. You know, people are so excited to see what they're doing with this show. And, um, it's great that Marvel went back to retool it. They realized it wasn't working, and, um, they decided to kind of fix it and bring back characters. So, newspaper prop on Wilson Fisk's, uh, campaign on the set of Daredevil Born Again. So, obviously, at the end of Echo, spoilers, but obviously, if you haven't watched the show by now, you're probably not that interested in watching it anyway. So, at the end of Echo, um, obviously, um, Wilson Fisk is on his private plane, and um, a video comes on one of his TVs saying that they're looking for someone to run, you know, for mayor. And, uh, obviously, we've got newspapers here. Wilson Fisk campaign gains momentum heading into polls. So it's confirmed. I mean, it was a leak that came out a few months ago from one of the inside scoopers as well, saying that, you know, he's going to run for mayor. So him being mayor is going to add that whole new dynamic where he's going to be in charge of the city, but he's also going to be doing his underground kind of um, villain kind of type stuff on the, you know, the underbelly of NYC. So it's going to give that cool contrast to his character. And uh, Daredevil's going to have to be careful because if he ends up taking out the mayor, then uh, the ramifications are going to be pretty bad. So, um, White Tiger, Hector Ayala, Ayala, I'm not sure how you say that, is confirmed to appear in Daredevil Born Again. Um, I believe that there was some images of um, White Tiger on set as well. We'll have to have a look. I'm pretty sure there was. So here we've got another uh, sort of camera filming on set, which is pretty cool. We can see the three main characters, Karen, uh, Matt, and uh, Foggy here. It's pretty cool. And uh, again, it's just another angle of them guys walking down the street, which is pretty cool. Here we go. A new character has been seen on Daredevil Born Again. So this might potentially be the White Tiger here. So we have this um, video here. Um, it's hard to see. He's in a white kind of... Um, it looks like he's wearing like baggy trousers. He's got a hoodie with these black stripes. And you can see his kind of helmet as well. Um, let's just go back out of that. So yeah, we get a better shot of him here. So you can see here, he almost looks like a race car driver, to be honest. Um, it looks like he's got like a motorbike jacket on, but it's white with black stripes. Got a helmet on or some sort of, you know, mask or something. And he's got these white boots as well. But apparently this is White Tiger in Midtown West Gourmet. So whether a scene happens inside this kind of uh, delicatessen here or this kind of, um, you know, the shop here, that'd be interesting to see. But um, if that is White Tiger, then that's pretty cool. Because I'm sure a lot of people will be interested to see him. So, uh, Loki and Moon Knight directors Justin Benson and Aaron at Moorhead directed the new pilot episode of Daredevil Born Again. They're going to have to come out the gate strong. Because, you know, if they disappoint people when it comes to Daredevil, man, there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> that's for sure. So, yeah, we've got the uh, Daredevil Netflix show here. Seeing the seeing the, um, the thruple, if you like. And then below, obviously, we've got the set photo of seeing those guys again. But it's a bit more zoomed in, which is kind of cool. Again, it's just that kind of tangibilization that they're definitely coming back. And it's really nice to see because they add they add that kind of um, nuance to the show. You know, like you could do a Daredevil show without them. But adding them is kind of like, you know, it's adding sprinkles over your food. It's kind of making it that little bit better. The food would have tasted nice anyway. But adding the sprinkles over, you know, makes it taste even better. So, you know, and a lot of people are happy, include, me included, um, that they're coming back. 603,000 views on that post. Wow. That's insane. And then we've got some even, uh, we got a close up of, uh, you know, Charlie Cox on set, which is really cool to see. Um, it's great to see him that he's smiling here. And uh, yeah, man, it looks like Marvel is kind of pivoted towards kind of Daredevil. And he's like one of their main characters now, um, kind of, you know, the MCU kind of characters going forward. And um, I think they know what they've got with Matt Murdock. You know, I think they know how popular this character is. And um, please put him in a Spider-Man film. <laughs> I really want a Spider-Man and um, Matt Murdock team up. 
So, uh, Wilson Bethel's uh, Bullseye will appear in three episodes. We've already seen that. So, it appears that we also have our first look at Muse in Daredevil Born Again. He's this kind of like psychotic killer who kills people and then basically uses people's bodies as artwork, I believe. And he goes around and does like different types of artwork around the city. And if we play this clip quickly, um, it zooms in here. We have this kind of hooded figure. Um, looks like he's kind of in combat gear, got boots, kind of a uh, black kind of combat yeah, trousers for the backpack. And it looks like he's I think maybe spray painting kind of you murals know, around the right. city. Um, he's got a kingpin mural here that he's painting. So whether he's trying to target the kingpin or whether he works for the kingpin, um, it's hard to determine at this point. But yeah, um, they just if this maybe. is the Muse character, that's and pretty cool. Guys, if you're not sure about guy, the Muse character, go on Marvel Wiki probably. and look him up. He's like a pretty crazy looking character. As I say, he kills people and uses them as um, artworks, like their angle. bodies and stuff. It's pretty messed up, but um, pretty cool character to appear yeah, in the Dead show, that's for sure. So we'll read a few more posts before we finish off. So uh, this one's pretty good. So Daredevil vs. Bullseye is back on the table. Daredevil vs. Kingpin on an even bigger scale once again. Nelson, Murdoch, and Paige is back. John Burntfall is back as the Punisher. Brand new villains and possibilities. Daredevil Born Again really feels like it's the season four we never got. Yeah, but Disney's doing that tricky thing where they're not actually calling it season four. They're calling it Born Again because they don't want to do a season four. Because if they do, they have to pay the actors more money. Because for every subsequent season, you have to pay your actors more money. So they're kind of doing the actors dirty a little bit. But at the same time... The actors are going to be paid a fair amount for the work that they do, so they can't really complain, can they? Um, so, Charlie Cox are, uh, on set filming Daredevil Born Again. Okay, so we just got a camera crew here following Charlie Cox by the look of it. Um, you can see him just there where my mouse cursor is. And uh, we've got the camera crew behind him. So that's pretty cool. It must be so cool to live in NYC and kind of see this stuff being filmed on the street. I would love to be able to see this kind of stuff. So let's have a look at a few more posts. Um... Which costumes? So we've got a better look at the mural here. Um, we can kind of zoom in a tiny bit. Kingpin. Yeah, it looks like he's kind of split in half and he's got flames on one side. So I'm not sure what that represents. We've got um, Nelson, Murdoch, and Paige. Uh, that's the sign for their um, law practice here. That was the building that they came out of. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I think that's kind of where we are. We're back to the same clip that we started off with. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we'll end on this video here that we already saw up above of the three coming out of their kind of law practice, which is kind of cool. But yeah, so that's kind of just covering some of the up-to-date news surrounding Daredevil Born Again. It's really awesome to see these two characters back, as I've already said multiple times. But I know a lot of fans will be happy. So guys, jump in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this news. What do you think about these images and videos coming out of the Daredevil Born Again set? You know, do you think they look good? What do you think of the White Tiger image as well? Do you think that's White Tiger or do you think that's somebody else? And just let me know what you think overall of how this show is shaping up. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.